in a very abstract sense, it's being from the west side of Indianapolis or any kind of rural, then more rural, uh, in the 60s, um, I felt like I was a blank slate. There was nobody, there was nothing, there was no art education when I was younger. There was, I was my own person and I felt I could do anything I felt like doing. And it had a certain sense of freedom that maybe not, you know, that it's rare to have that, I think, without parents telling you to do, this is what art is and that's what this is. It, there was, they just said, be yourself. And so I tried to be myself and that's what I was. Yeah. Don't lose faith, you know, if you really like it. You have to like what it is because you spend hours and hours doing it. So you have to find a process that is uh, that's your own, that you feel comfortable with and, and you like and you do it. I think you just have to get into it and, and look around and keep your antenna up for aesthetic situations. It's just another stop on the road to, you know, to do as much as you can and to do as much really meaningful. I mean, you can work, work, work. Some people work constantly just because they need to work, but they, they don't edit or they sometimes do too much. I like to focus more, but I have to keep moving. I have to keep working. If I don't work, I feel like a totally worthless, ridiculous person. <laughs>